Welcome to this short video explaining about the Projectum Time Phase Depth for Project Online and Project Server 2013. Let's start navigating directly to the Project Center area and select the project which has some data on it. It could be the Projectum Demo app. Now, the app that we have created allows you to actually time phase your cost information. So that could be budget, actual, remaining, forecast, and so on. Um, if we go into the budget, PDP, which I've set up here. This will be a page where the Projectum Time Phase app has been added as the web part it is directly onto this page. Now this web part is actually configurable so it allows you to, to create your own columns and your own totals and your own cost elements on the left side here. If you were to do some changes to this you'll just hit edit up here which allows us now to, once it's done loading, to enter new information into the different cells. So let's say you, you want to spend some more money on hardware, you could go directly to 2014 and write 10,000 in 2014, it might be 5,015. Every time we do a change, it's automatically saved down here. So that's the way that works. Um, if we go straight to actual cost, that could just be another PDP set up the same way, um, exactly as you prefer it, but with, in this case, just the actuals coming in. So the same cost structure, um, but just from an actuals perspective. So if you spent some money in 2014, you could write, I spent 5,000 here, for instance, already. And now this total adds up to uh, 54,505, which has already been spent um, for this particular project. Now, if we um, go back to the master data area, what you will see is that the data that you have selected will be written directly back to the original project custom fields. So the, the project now has a complete budget of 165,000 US dollars and 54,000 have been spent, so that equals 110 uh, being remaining already. So this is the way to interact between our app and directly to the um, original project custom fields. Now if you want to do a report, um, obviously all the data that we have in the, in the grid is not stored as custom fields. So we have that stored in a, in a master SharePoint list as the database for this app. But still you are actually able to do a complete report across all your data. So if we for instance open this spreadsheet that has been created for the purpose. Um, we will see that not only the information for project uh, server but also all the information from our app is actually uh, joined within this spreadsheet. So let's hit edit so we can do a refresh. Notice that we have project name by cost elements, actuals and budgets. If we hit refresh the latest data will come in and hopefully also our project that we just created together. And now it's done loading, so up here we now have the project some demo app. If you click this one, the data we entered just before has now been ready populated for us, so we can look at externals for instance from a budget perspective versus actuals and so on for the other cost elements. So again this report shows you how flexible, flexible this app would be um, also from a reporting perspective. Now, all this information can obviously also be used um, in Power View or Power Pivot. So if we go to this report section and wait it for it to load. And here you go. You will now see, um, again, the same information, but just shown in, uh, in Power View. So again, we could go in and change the project name, for instance, down here. Say we want to look at the Project Some Demo app instead, which would be this one. And not the actuals, but only the budget. So again, a nice way of creating a report showing um, how money is spent or um, being consumed from a budget perspective. If we go back to our um, project tenant, the app in itself is stored um, as an app, obviously, uh, in the site contents. So up here you'll find the PWA Time Phase Data Pro. If you click this one, this is where you'll get access to some more information from a user guide perspective, um, how to create your first report, and an overall introduction for how to actually use and configure the tool as well. Thank you for this short demo. I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to hearing back from you.